If you've been scrolling on Twitter lately, you may have noticed some huge view counts. But they're doing something sneaky that not many people realize. They've removed the actual view count on videos and replaced it with impressions, which is a completely different metric. But they still use the word views on videos, misleading users to think that these videos are actually getting these insane view numbers. What? Let me try to simplify it. An impression is simply the number of times a tweet has been seen, meaning it was shown on a user's timeline via following a retweet or the author's profile. A video view on Twitter is counted if it plays for two or more seconds. For comparison, Here's how long other social media platforms require in order for it to count as a real video view. Quick note on Facebook, they got caught red-handed back in 2016 inflating their video view numbers. This resulted in advertisers having to pay more. So if you remember seeing massive and unrealistic view counts on Facebook videos back then, they were fake. This was probably an attempt to compete with YouTube. Facebook tried to sweep it under the rug and chalk it up to a technical bug, but eventually they had to pay a $40 million fine which to them is a mere slap on the wrist. Also, there's some nuance here with Twitter. Autoplayed videos count, which is turned on by default. And if a user scrolls past the video because they didn't want to watch it, but 50% or more of the video is still in the frame for more than two seconds, it counts as a view. But with Twitter's decision to not show the real video view count and instead only show impressions, none of that matters. Getting a genuine video view that meets the two second minimum criteria is more difficult than getting an impression. Here's a good example to show the discrepancy between video views and video impressions. Disclaimer, this is a no way political video. The following is simply a good example to show. Tucker Carlson's interview with Trump has 265 million views, except that is actually the number of impressions. In reality, it has 15 million views, showing the much higher number on videos, impressions, instead the real and lower number, views, was an intentional decision by Twitter. It creates an illusion that the platform has more active users and engagement than it actually does. And as the Twitter algorithm continues pushing content into people's For You timeline, the more views it gets, even if people scroll past it and choose to completely ignore it. When you compare this to TV ratings, it's simply not a fair comparison. This tweet went viral and a user called out its 1 billion views as unrealistic. Community Notes points out that views are not unique. The same person can have a recorded view multiple times. Except even with that added context, that number is still hard to believe. Bots are another part of all of this. There are a lot of bots on Twitter. Now, Twitter themselves report that only 5% of all accounts are bots. But the real percentage is likely much higher. Here are two examples to visualize that. This user, Taylor Lorenz, ran an experiment on her private locked account with zero followers. She posted two tweets, and in less than a minute, one of them had 59 impressions. Where did those alleged impressions come from? Maybe bots, or maybe the impressions metric itself is not accurate and it's actually inflated. Elon Musk has 156 million followers. Mashable hired a third-party company to review the data of his followers. Of those 156 million accounts, 42%, or 65 million, of them have zero followers and 73% have less than 10 followers. So the takeaway from this video is this, don't put much stock at all into the metrics you see on Twitter, particularly video views. They're actually just impressions, and they may not even be real. YouTube, on the other hand, counts real views.